Hey guys, in the last segment I stopped at the uh, different types of radioactive decay, uh, really the alpha particle. Uh, so you got to know that the alpha particle basically is a helium nuclei released from an unstable nucleus. Uh, we classify it as an ionizing radiation. The reason for that is because the alpha particle is positively charged. Remember, it doesn't, it's the nucleus of the helium, so it doesn't have any electron, only proton, and that's what makes it a uh, positively charged ionizing radiation. Um, so the alpha particle, the way we, we uh, actually show it is the helium nucleus, and that's the nuclear symbol of the helium, showing that it has two proton, and the mass number is four, so that tells us that if you take two out of four, you're going to have two, and that gives you the number of neutrons. So this alpha particle has two protons and two neutrons, and remember the protons are positively charged. That's what makes it ionizing uh, when the alpha particle positively charging when the alpha particle comes out of the nucleus. So let's see an example here. If you we have uranium two thirty eight. Uh, decaying by alpha particle um, and it's very simple we call this nuclear equation now the reason that it's really really simple because it really uh, tells you if you did it right or wrong so here we are uranium the atomic number is 92 the mass number is 238 we can get the number of neutrons out of this 238 minus 92 I believe it's 146, but I'm not 100%. I didn't, I'm just calculating it in my head. The main thing is that when the alpha particle comes out, we have to take out two, uh, four out of the mass number. So 238 minus 4 would give us 234. That's going to be the mass number of the new element. And uh, to get the uh, atomic number, we have to take 2 out of the 92, which is going to give us the, the 90. And then you just take the periodic table, look up what element is uh, the atomic number 90, and you're going to get the thorium right there. This is the thorium. thorium. So if you want to check if you did it right or wrong, all you have to do is just do the addition. So 234 plus 4 is going to be equal to 238, so the mass number is definitely right. And 90 plus 2 is going to give you the 92, so it's a perfectly balanced nuclear equation. You can go home and tell everyone that, hey, I can do nuclear equations just fine, and they will think you are so, 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 so smart, so so do it, just for the, just for the fun of it. It's, it's, it's really simple, like, you, you see how easy it is. So now let's try if we can do it. Do this. This is a, you know, you see there is no solution here. But it's really, really easy. So when we have radon um, decaying by alpha particle, what is going to be the new mass number here? And it's easy. I will just write it right here. So 226 minus 4 is going to be 2, say, 22. Two, very good. 88 minus 2 is going to be, it's easy, 86. So now what do we have to do? We have to look up the element with the atomic number 86. And I'm going to look at it like it's right here, Rn. I think it's the radon. Uh, so it's Rn. And we can actually really see if we did it right or not because we have to get these back. So 86 plus 2 is going to be 88, so that we did right. 222 plus 4 is going to be 226. So here, yeah, you guys, good. We did it right. We can do nuclear equations now. Okay, let's see what is the next type of decay. The next type of decay is beta, the beta decay. And actually, really, we could use the, the symbol for the Greek letter beta. And I forgot to tell you, but just the previous one, the alpha, the symbol for the alpha is the Greek alpha. The symbol for the beta is the Greek beta. So it has a very long uh, side right here. That's the beta, and this is alpha. It's easy to draw, alpha. 
So this is now you, you learn two Greek letters, the beta and the alpha. I should start alpha and beta. Okay, so what is the beta radiation? The beta radiation is uh, very simple because what happened, one of the, one of the proton in the nucleus is losing a fast-moving electron and it will become a proton. So it's a negatively charged particle and the way we write the symbol of it the way we write the symbol of it is very simple because it's, it's going to be equal with an electron basically. So we're going to put down the E. For the atomic number it's going to be minus 1 and for the mass number is 0. So when you do the calculation the mass number will not change but the atomic number will go up by 1. Remember because one neutron loses an electron and by that will become a proton. So the number of protons will increase by 1 but the ma mass number doesn't change because the number of protons plus neutrons are going to stay the same. So remember the mass number doesn't change, atomic number goes up by 1. So let's see an example here. And this one is solved so it's easy. Uh, actually this shows you the carbon-14, you have heard a lot about it because we do use it for, for radioactive dating of our uh, samples. So carbon-14, this is the, the atomic number, the number of protons is 6, the mass number is 14. So how many neutrons are in it? You're right, it's 8. I'm not very good at writing on this thing, but I'm trying. So 8 neutrons. And when it uh, decays by uh, beta decay, we can put down the beta uh, the symbol of the beta particle and C7 so the mass number stays remember 14 and the atomic number goes up by 1 so 6 plus 1 is going to be 7 and then we write down the, the formula of the beta particle and then we check 14 plus 0 is going to stay 14 so that's right and 7 minus 1 is going to be 6 so we did we did a good job here, I would hope so. But here is the question mark. What do you think? We start with bromine uh, with 35 uh, protons. The mass number is 82. So remember the number of neutrons is 82 minus 35. And I didn't calculate it, so I can, I can calculate it. It's 82, 82 minus... I have a calculator on my phone, so it's pretty easy, but I'm looking at my phone right now. So, see, 82 minus 35, 35, here is my phone, I'm calculating on it, you see? It's equal 47, so it has 47 neutrons, it's easy to calculate. 47 neutrons. I just leave it like neutron. And um, so what is going to be our new uh, element? What is going to be the mass number? You're right, it will be 82 because remember the mass number does not change. And how about the atomic number? The 35 will go up by 1, so it's going to be 36. right here so all we have to do now is look up what is 36 and I have a periodic table open right here so I am gonna look at 36 it's the KR the Creon so it's capital K and the small R, R like that Creon so that's the answer now check it is it good 36 minus 1 is gonna be 35 and 82 and 82. So we did a good job again. Good job. This is like the nuclear equation we are doing here. And I hope you do see that it's really, 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 really simple. So do not be scared if I ever ask you to solve a nuclear equation. I might do that. But if I do, I have to give you a periodic table. Don't forget because you don't have to know the, the atomic number of the elements. I don't know them, so I always look it up on a periodic table. So don't worry about this stuff. So what is the next slide going to be? The next slide is...
the gamma, the, the last type of uh, decay is the gamma decay. The gamma, this, this is the, the Greek G, the gamma. And the gamma decay is famous because during this uh, decay, there is no any kind of uh, ionization happening. There is no negative or positive uh, charged particle coming out. All it comes out of it is radiation uh, in form of photons. So it, it, it doesn't have a mass, it just have energy. Okay, and uh, I actually forgot to tell you something. When, when there is radiation, the alpha particle it doesn't, it moves, but it doesn't move through material really easily. So basically a piece of paper will stop it. So the alpha particle is coming and the piece of paper doesn't let it go through. So you don't really have to worry much about alpha particles. When you've got a beta particles and you are exposed to it, it will actually go into your body by about one inch, one inch. So it doesn't have that much energy either to go into, into human bodies. However, this one, the gamma particle, it is very, 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 very uh, similar to the x-ray. When you go to the dentist or you go to have a bonic x-ray or something. So basically the, the gamma ray is just going through your body just like crazy. The only thing which stops it, that really, really thick leather uh, apron they put in front of you when you have any kind of x-ray. Um, so this is the most damaging out of all the radiation. We're going to talk about this more in just a little bit. So when you have gamma decay, basically what happens with the, with the uh, nucleus is just that it rearranges. Uh, by, by the photons leaving the whole system, the nucleus becomes a little bit more stabilized. So this is going towards stabilized nucleus. So here is our exercise, and uh, I want us to do this like right here together while I'm um, looking up the stuff. Please start uh, looking up in your periodic table. So we're talking about polonium, which is very, very rare in the earth naturally. It was uh, discovered by Madame Curie, you know, Mary Sklodowska Curie. And remember, she named polonium after her country, Poland. Uh, and it is actually decaying by the alpha decay. Um, and the, the mass number of polonium is 210. So we have to write it up and we have to look up the atomic number. So write polonium here, PO, and we know that it's 210. So the mass number is 210. And now I'm going to go and look up the atomic number of polonium, and that is 84. So 84 is coming down here. And remember, we read it, we just did, that it decays by alpha particle. So I always put down the, uh, the symbol of the alpha particle first. So it's going to be 4, 2, helium. And we have to calculate the, the mass number of the new element. So 210 minus 4 is what? You're right, 206. And 84 minus 2 is 82. And actually, I really know this element because, um, because this is lab. This is the first stable element. So we will talk about more the fact that not every single radioactive reaction is going to be a stable element like this one because lead is a stable element. It will not go anywhere. It has a stable nucleus and it will not decay into anything else. So here we are. 206.82 lead. Let's see if it did good. 206 plus 4. Yes, it does. going to give us the 210. 82 plus 2 is going to give us the 84. So we did a very, very, very good job. I hope you understand it. If you don't, just ask me in the lab. And I will try to help you as much as possible. I guess I'm going to close this segment down because I have 14 minutes on my timer. So uh, I'll continue it in the next segment.